take these screws out of the bottom. And the cover comes off. We then remove the switch so it can be modified and placed in the FSE box. We're going to take and cut this back, cut this piece off so this will go in there further to give us more room on the bottom. JB welding this cord grip onto this uh, switch box plastic. Then we're going to run the sheet through here and install our switch on the cover. I took that off. Extra screw hole for it? Yeah, and this whole thing down here. Yeah, Cut gone. that off. That's gone. To make more room for the switch. Right. That makes sense. And it's extra screw hole on this side too. Before we cut out the middle screw tab so there would be more room for the uh, switch to fit in the box. And that you can see that this gives the switch more room. Yeah. Here we are measuring the diameter of the hole that we will drill into the switch cover so the uh, switch shaft will go through it. The next thing we did was terminate the wires to the switch. Here we use 90 degree female flag terminals. Here we added a piece of PVC to use as a spacer. Here we JB welded the switch itself to the cover, being careful not to put any JB weld on the shaft. There's the finished switch. We found this knob at an old appliance store. Now you can cut the shaft down if you want. And in this case, he wants to leave it original. We'll rough this up with some sandpaper. Here we are modifying the PVC LB body to fit the uh, trolling motor shaft. That's it, we need more. Now we've got the LB installed and we start wiring it up. I'll take our control wires, put them in these sheets. Then we seal this cord grip inside with silicone and put this 228 moisture sealing electrical tape around it. Put the wiring and the sheet. Here's the plug. Same thing here, we put the moisture sealing tape. Here we are marking the hole to drill for the female trolling motor connector.
Here we are using a Dremel tool to drill out the hole. Now we are drilling the hole for the rivets. Now we install the gasket. Now we trim the gasket. Then we secure the connector with pop rivets. And then the other end of the wire coming out from the plug in the hole comes up front. The front hatch and that's where the battery goes. And on his uh, steering tiller, he made these pieces of wood and put these view clamps on there on this piece of PVC that's been painted. Here he is using a Hobie Cat hiking stick yoke. And then he took this tiller extension hinge and put it on a long piece of PVC. Uh, to be used as his tiller steering arm. And then that hooks up right there. Let me put the trolling motor on the back we made for it. Tighten it down. Move a switch up to the front. And then plug his uh, battery cord in. And he's ready to go. That's your uh, Hobie Tiller. And then your motor tilt room. First test of the controller motor and controller motor bracket, tiller, steering. It must be uh, speed five. Yeah, you're kind of close already. Taking the tiller arm off. Making it rough for him, he was just going all over the place. I know. He's trying to. I did that on purpose. Oh, okay. See if it was seaworthy, you know, it's best to do it now. I didn't even get no bite hanging a ways over the bow. Now here, wait till you get in the bay. Yeah. Yeah. 
I hope you ain't posting all that shit on it. I am. Are you wanted? Uh, no, I can blow your face out. I just, I can cut everything out. Yeah, unplug it this time. There you go. Unplug there, unplug the lift rope. You gonna do a time lapse thing on how long it's <laughs> I'm gonna put music to it. Yep. You can uh, play two or three chords. <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna play some, uh, Three Stooges with it. That's what it is when I rig mine up. It takes an hour. <laughs> That's another thing. I would put in a big inline one. Thanks for watching. Check in the description for your do-it-yourself motor mount video.